Hello everyone and welcome back to Handmade No Hallmark. We are on card 14. This is the second to last card in my series for this year. I had so much fun making this card. It is super sweet and full of just cuteness. So here we go. I am using the gingerbread cookie stamp set from Mama Elephant. I absolutely love these little gingerbread men. They're so sweet. I'm using a phrase from the Thanks A Latte set from Lawn Fawn. I was going to use these snowflakes, but I ended up changing my mind. I am using the A2 Stitch Dax dies from MFT, and I am using the Oliver Stitched ABC dies from Lawn Fawn. I have a panel of four and a quarter by five and a half inch Nina Desert Storm cardstock here, as well as a card base for an A2 size card out of Simon Says Schoolhouse Red cardstock. I also have some letters pre-cut here, but I will add some more to that pile here in a little while. The first thing I wanted to do was to get my background panel all stamped. So I am taking a small acrylic block and my VersaFine ink, and I'm going to go around and stamp my little gingerbread men. Um, I didn't really have a plan in mind. I, what I was going for was making my own pattern paper. I have done this before in several videos, and I absolutely love doing it. It is so much fun. And I'm going to be using my colored pencils, so that's why I'm using this VersaFine ink, because it is a nice dark ink, and I love using it with colored pencils. So I'm just taking the gingerbread man who has a scarf and the one that is plain and I'm just going to go around and start stamping my background. And I started in the bottom corner and kind of worked my way across and every time I, sent, I start doing a background like this I always start with having lots of space in between my images and then as I get further along they get closer and closer together but it's not that big of a deal. I like the way it turned out in the end. So while I'm going around doing this, I wanted to share a little story with you. After I created my last card, um, card 13, I ended up having a little accident with my guillotine paper trimmer. I ended up slicing two of my fingers on my left hand. I'm not sure if you can notice in the video, but I do have some scarring on my fingers. It was bad enough. I had to go get two stitches in each finger, and I was out of crafting mode for a couple of weeks. So I was a little sad but it was nice to take a break and my hands all healed up. Um, I have just a little bit of trouble with one of them. It pains me every once in a while, but other than that, I can get right back to crafting and I'm all better. So please be careful when you're using your crafting supplies because some of them can be pretty dangerous. And so I'm a little hesitant using it now, but um, I'm getting a bit more confident in making sure I put the blade down all the time. So now that I have all of my little gingerbread stamped, I'm gonna take the bow tie that comes in the same stamp set and I'm going to go around and put some bow ties on some of the blank gingerbread men. I didn't do it on all of them, just a few, just to add um, a little bit more character. And once I get that done, I ended up, um, I'm not sure what happened to my film, but I lost some of the footage of the next step I did here is I went around and I added some candy canes and hearts to my background. The candy cane I got from uh, the Christmas Dreams stamp set from Lawn Fawn, and the little heart I got from the, um, I think it's Coco Wishes or something along those lines, or Hot Chocolate from Hello Bluebird. I'll make sure it's linked below. You can go through any of your stamps that you have. Now I'm going to get my colored pencils out and I'm going to start coloring. Once I'm all finished, we'll come back and finish up this cute card together.
that all colored. It is super sweet and I absolutely love it. I'm going to take my MFT Stitch Dex Dies number two and I'm going to figure out how big I want my background panel to be. Now I wanted to make sure I had the red show through from behind. So um, I decided to go with the second largest die from this set. Um, I really like the way that this turned out. I get just enough of the gingerbread men and I get a nice frame around my images. So I'm just going to get this taped down with some washi tape and I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. Now that I have that panel all cut out, I am going to take my red cardstock here that I was going to use as my base. I ended up changing my mind and decided to use it as another bit of background for my card. And I'm going to use the largest die from that Stitch Dex um, die set and I'm going to cut that one out as well. And then I'm going to use a white card base for my base, actual base of my card. And I like the way that this looks a lot better. Um, it gives me a nice frame and then I'll have a nice really thin frame for the white and I really like the way that that turned out. So I'm going to take my scoring pal here. I'm going to score my card um, in half so I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. A nice A2 size card and I really like this scoring pal. I've been thinking about getting a, um, a Teflon bone folder but um, this little one works out just fine. And I love this little white frame that comes around. It really frames up this image, brings some of the white in from those gingerbread, um, the gingerbread images and the candy canes. So now I wanna work on my sentiment or my greeting. So I've got these words here and I have the word gingerbread cut out using those Oliver dies. And I decided I wanted to add kind of like a faux shadow, a stacked look. So I took all of those same dies and I went around and I cut them out of some white cardstock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stagger it so it's kind of offset. So it kind of gives like a nice white, uh, like drop shadow effect. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I really like these stitch dies. I've had lots of letter dies before. Um, some of them are really small, but I really like these ones because I like the stitching inside of them. I think it goes great with these gingerbread men. And it brings the stitching back in from my um, die cut panels too. So again, I've got all of these cut out and I'm going to take some of my um, a multimedia mat and I'm going to go around and I'm going to glue these together so that um, I have that drop shadow effect. You don't need a lot of glue once I get it placed then I can um, just set an acrylic block on top of it and we're good to go. I'm not going to show all of these, but the process is the same. I'm just going to add some glue, give that same drop shadow effect in the same direction, and lay the acrylic block down. It didn't take me too long to do this, um, but just to save some time in the video, we'll go ahead and jump ahead to having all of the letters completed. I really like the way that these turned out. It really gives them a nice effect and makes the red pop out a little bit more against the background. So next I'm going to do the rest of my sentiment here. I'm taking some green cardstock I had from my stash and I'm going to take the warm wishes from the Thanks a Latte stamp set and I just cut it in half. Don't worry, the stamps will be fine. And I'm going to use my Versamark ink and I'm going to heat emboss it with some Brutus Monroe Alabaster White Embossing Powder and I'm going to cut it out. I really like the way that this um, phrase is. It's kind of, the text is a little bit wonky and it kind of goes with the um, style of my card. And I wanted to add just a little bit more green, kind of pull some in from the green scarves and bow ties on the gingerbread men. So again, you could, you know, use a die. Um, I just decided to freehand cut this. Um, I wasn't too concerned about, you know, how perfect it was. It goes with, again, the style of the card that I'm making. So once I have that all cut out, we can start assembly of our card and I'm so thrilled. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Tombow Mono Multi Glue and glue down all of my panels nice and flat. The only dimension that is going to be on my card is the actual letters themselves. So I'll get that lined up. And I really like this nice thin border. These are some of my absolute favorite dies. I love these stacks dies. And I'll get our gingerbread men attached here now that I have them attached, I'm going to add some detail to them before we start adding on top. I want to do this before we start going on top because then we'll be able to do it later. So I added some of my black gel pen to their little eyes just to kind of make them stand out a little bit better. I like the way that this looks too. Some of them will be covered up, but um, I like having this, especially with like little critters, even more so on the Mama Elephant ones. I don't know why. I just think it looks a lot nicer and it makes them really sweet and cute. Get this last gingerbread man here 
and then I'm going to take my um, my let's see I take my white gel pen oh no my glitter pen sorry and I'm going to go around and add my favorite thing as you guys know um, my aqua shimmer pen to their you know all their accessories the little hearts the candy canes anywhere that I feel like I can fit it I'm gonna put it <laughs> and it's the sparkle on this pen is just so great and I haven't refilled this and I haven't bought a new one if it starts getting low I just add a teeny weeny bit of water and shake it up really good and it gets all of that glitter out of there it comes out really nice go around to all my candy canes these candy canes are so sweet my kids all love candy canes. My grandma was a big fan of candy canes too when I was growing up. We always had them on the tree. Now I'm going to take my white gel pen and I'm going to go around and add um, some highlight to their little cheeks. I know ginger pen really don't have cheeks, but we're going to add it anyway. And then we're going to add a little bit of highlight detail to the actual cookie themselves. I love adding these little cheek details. It makes them look so cute. And again, add some to the heart. Just to give it a little bit of shine, a little bit more detail. I really think adding these details really finishes these cards off. You know, if you get to a point on a card where you know you're, you don't really love it, it's not really coming out the way you think, just keep going with it, keep trying. You know, as you start adding those finishing details, you add, you know, some other embellishments, it can really save a card, and um, that's sometimes how it works for me. I start a card and I don't really love it, but then it turns out really great at the end. Get that white detail in there. And there we go. So now we can finish up this card and we can add our um, text to it. So with the letters, I'm going to be using my Darice 3M foam strips. They're the perfect size for this. You can add some to the um, warm wishes and then I'm going to add some to the letters themselves. I wanted them to be alternating in heights. I wanted some to be flat and I wanted some to be raised up. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the G and the D down first because they're the beginning and the end of my text here. And I wanted to make sure that I had enough space in between and I filled the card space up because I've done that before where I just started putting it in and I didn't fill up the space the way I wanted to. So I was kind of just playing around with placement here to make sure I could get it all to fit. And I wasn't worried about things overlapping. Um, again, I fiddled with it for quite a while, but in the end, I really liked the way it turned out. Now that I have my letters where I want them, I can start adding them down. Again, I'm going to alternate um, the levels. I'm going to do some that are flat against the panel and some that are raised. I did the G and the D um, here. I'm putting the D on so I know I have enough space to place all of my other letters. And I really like the look of the staggered letters. It kind of really gives it some character. And I'm gonna speed through this process here because it, it, it didn't take me a while, but it is a little bit time consuming. So again, I'm just alternating um, on the letters that are laying flat. I'm just using my Tombow glue. And then my letters that I'm popping up, I am using those Darius 3M foam strips. And I'm just going, to, going back and forth from either end just to make sure that I get the placement right and that I have enough room for all of my letters. And I really, really like the way that this turned out. It is so sweet. I absolutely love it. I was a little concerned about the last couple of letters here because I had two R's and a B. I was worried it wasn't going to look quite right. But in the, I really liked it. It's so sweet. I love the dimension in it. Now I can add the warm wishes and start adding some more of those finishing details that I absolutely love. I was really struggling with a phrase for this card and I came across warm gingerbread wishes. I figured, you know, you don't necessarily have to say warm holiday wishes, warm Christmas wishes. Gingerbread is, you know, so nostalgic for Christmas and I really thought it was a great sentiment. Next, I'm going to take these um, snowflakes that I have from um, my most recent haul and I'm just going to start adding them in. This is where I decided to use these instead of the die cuts. Um, I probably could have used the dies, but I figured they might have been too too big for this and I didn't want them to cover up the actual gingerbread men because they're the focus of this card and I really loved adding some of the snowflakes to the text there I really think it adds to it and gives it lots of character and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some um, 
Nouveau Crystal Drops in Simply White, um, Autumn Red, and Green. And I'm just going to go around and add them in the in-between spaces just to kind of finish out the background on this card. Then I'm going to take my Aqua Shimmer Pen and I'm going to add some shimmer to the Warm Wishes and the Gingerbread Text. And that will be the last thing for this card. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and thank you for stopping by. If you really like the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos here on my channel. This is the second to the last card in my series, but it is not the last card that I will make on my channel. So if you want to see more or be notified anytime that I upload one, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss out. I can't wait to bring you guys the last card. It is going to come to you guys Christmas Day. So um, first enjoy your family, enjoy the day, and then come along with me as I share with you the last card. It is one of my absolute favorites and I hope you enjoy it as well. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you guys again real soon in the next video. Bye!